Better than all. Send them round to my house with the hat, will you? Oh, certainly, sir. Anything to oblige. Well, goodbye, Miss Brody. I've got some patients waiting for me. Goodbye, Dr. Rennick. And I won't forget it's an appointment. It's been a pleasure to serve you, sir. Mr. I hope the hat's a success, sir. And the gloves. <laughs> What's a great gawk of a fellow. Oh, you shouldn't say that. Now, never mind about him. What about me? You going to say the dance for me at the ball? Well, I can't promise. Let's see what he will look like as partner, shall we? Father's coming. I tricked you. Gentlemen, on behalf of the Urban District Council, it is my proud privilege to welcome Lord and Lady Winton. looking after the bodily comfort of our local citizens. New earrings to match the brooch. Mr. Brody here? Why well, ask me? I don't know what Mr. Brody's movements are. Tut, tut, tut. It's only that I have a very interesting piece of news for him. It'll make this ball tonight something he'll never forget. Ah, Mr. Peck. Have you seen Brody? No, he's not here yet. And of course, he thinks the later he arrives, the more important it makes him. Give you your medicine. It's always done you good. Where are my boots? How much longer are you going to keep me hanging about? Oh, Father. I was just giving them another polish. Wasted half an hour of my time already by your slowness. May I go now, Father? There won't be a place left in the gallery. Aye. You'd better run along or you'll miss all the fun, too. <laughs> Angus. Here. Hey, enjoy yourself, but don't be home late. You'll need to be on time for school tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> what you're doing there? More medicine. No wonder my housekeeping man is always running short. Dr. Rennick, how did this get into my house? He, he left it when he was here that day, Father. Can you not speak the truth for once, woman? I went and fetched those drops. Did I not forbid you to see that man again? Yes, I know, Father. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. Oh. You'll take off that frock. You do not go to the ball. James. Stop dithering, woman. Come on, we're licked enough as it is.
is your fault. No, it can't be. He thinks Glasgow on some business he was making a big mystery of. Well, then it's his fitting image. Sure. Well. Yes, it is him. Maybe it's a good sign him coming straight from the station. Who's father talking to? I can only see the top of his head. I know. Champagne, please, miss. I said some champagne. Hello, Dennis. What are you doing here? How did you get in? Just influence, my girl. Just influence. There you are. Is that what they call champagne in Liebenford? Come on, let's have the real stuff. And a bottle of it. Where did you get that from? I just pulled off a big deal and it's just a bit on account. You're waiting for my daughter, you're waiting in vain. I can find it at her room and she can thank you for it. Come, Margaret. Good evening, Mr. Bowdy. Uh, good evening, McLean. Give me the bottle, will you? And the change. Oh, what is this? It's to be consumed off the premises. Gloves all right? you, the band, and the buffet. Sweets, crystallized fruit, cake, and champagne. Oh, it's very, very sweet and thoughtful of you, Tempest. Catch! No, don't you break it. Well, how can I get it up to you, then? Is there any way to climb up there? Well, you'll break your neck. Well, uh, uh, oh, I tell you what, I leave the whole thing on the front doorstep, and you come out and get it, will you? Aren't you going to throw me one back? Yes, if you like. Yes, it's the real stuff. I saw that you'd be left behind, but I must just come along just to cheer you up. This is one of your ruses again, I suppose, is it? Oh, but look at the trouble that I've taken just to make you happy. Rousing the baker from his beauty sleep and stealing my landlady's musical box from under her very nose. And if you saw my landlady, you'd realize what the risks are that I've taken for you. Yes, I know, but there'd be terrible trouble if Father knew you were here. Well, he doesn't. And he won't. Oh, how I've longed to have a dance with you. Let's have one now, shall we? Just a little one. Yes, please, come, just... Ah, oh, Mr. Brody, sir. Would you permit me to ask your daughter for a waltz? You're no but a miserable shop assistant. Ah, yes, but Mr. Brody, think of my bright future. Ah, oh, well, in that case, I might give you permission. Oh, Mr. Brody, cut the cackle. Get